reading is political. Hi, I've been gone for a while. I don't really feel that this is the video where I need to explain the who, what, where, when, why of it. I currently have a cold. I feel pretty not great, but this is a video that I felt really compelled to uh, record in the moment. It's not something that I necessarily felt like putting off. I have noticed a lot of discourse in the book community as of late. My fellow Americans are very aware of the current political climate that we are in, and I've seen a lot of online discourse about whether or not politics belongs in the book community. There is a very reading is not political thing that seems to be going around right now, and myself and a lot of other creators that I enjoy are all upon the idea that reading is very political. Reading has always been political, reading and books has been and always will be fundamental. I think books and readings is one of the biggest political places or scenes in the world, just as much as art. With the current political climate that we were in, I want to make it perfectly clear. I voted Harris Waltz. I am not a Trump supporter. I don't stand for the things that they stand for. I'm currently recording this day after the election, and I am still very much in the process of processing what is going to be happening to my fellow women and my very big LGBTQ friend group, um, my gay family members, my trans friends. It's a lot to have processed. But like many of you that are on this channel, books are something that we use to escape and and find joy in, books are also for education. I 100% stand by the fact that books are and forever will be political. I decided to go through, see what books I currently have that I have read that are on a banned book list. And book lists are wild. <laughs> I think that's pretty much it. There are a lot of them. I can link in the description below the like specific Google Docs list that I'm using for this, but you can just Google banned books and you can get a million different lists. There are banned books, there are challenged books, um, pretty much anything that someone of a higher power deems not appropriate for whatever reason they personally think is correct. I have off camera here quite a big stack of books that are on currently or previously at some point have either been challenged or on a banned book list. And these are the ones that I just physically own. There's a lot on this list that I have like read in school and I just like don't own the physical copy of, but I want to go through and talk about all of the books that I currently have that are on banned book lists, and then I also just placed a, a very big order of about 17 books that are on banned book lists that I haven't read, want to read, and have in my possession because I think that's extremely important. So I will also come back once those books come in and give you a book haul of my banned books. We're just gonna get into it. So I'm gonna be looking at my list. A lot of these, like me even reading the list, where I was like, that's a banned book, really? But I'm going to show you the book and give you the reason as to why it's banned. Starting off with a heavy hitter for almost every person in this community, in the book community, has read this book. Most certainly have heard about it if you haven't read it. So our first book, well actually books, um, is pretty much the entirety of the A Court of Thorns and Roses series. Specifically on the list that I have is A Court of Thorns and Roses and A Court of Mist and Fury. Those two books specifically, but if you're gonna ban two books out of a whole series, you may as well count the whole series. So, A Court of Thorns and Roses, in general, was banned for explicit sexual content, themes of abuse, and challenged for mature content. This is a book that is banned, which is freaking wild to me. That was one of the first books that I saw on the list that I was like, you're kidding, right? There are some more crazy for that. Next, I have a very old copy of this. It's A Walk to Remember by Nicholas Sparks. This is just a Nicholas Sparks rom-com book, but it is on a band's list for themes of love, loss, and redemption with some elements seen as too emotional for certain audiences. Then we have one of the first like classics, because I don't really consider Akatar and Walk to Remember a classic. Those have been around fairly recently. Um, but the first classic that I physically had that showed up on a band's book list was Emma by Jane Austen. I love Emma. Emma might be my favorite Jane Austen book ever. Emma is banned specifically for complex gender themes and social critique. Call it a hot take. I think a lot of books have social critique. I think social critique is um, kind of a big reason books should be written. An author that I never would have expected to be on any sort of bans list, Colleen Hoover, specifically with the book Hopeless. Hopeless by Colleen Hoover was banned for sexual assault and dark themes. Again, 
that's kind of the topics of most books that I've read in my life. So welcome to the Bands Book List, Colleen Hoover. Next is a book that I actually just finished reading. This was one of my more recent reads, Outlander. Outlander has a lot. Outlander was banned for graphic sexual content, time travel romance, banned for explicit and controversial themes, explicit sexual content, banned for graphic depictions of and mature themes. I don't really know what to say in response to most of these bans because I think the point of books being banned is crazy to begin with. I have yet to find their reasons valid. Jane Austen is back again with Pride and Prejudice. I think this is one we all probably could have guessed. Pride and Prejudice is specifically banned for gender roles, marriage, and societal expectations. Another one, extremely surprised, Milk and Honey by Rupi Kaur. A book about poetry. Milk and Honey is specifically banned for discussions on abuse, sexism, and gender-based violence rooted in prejudice. We're back to a specifically one book, but you may as well consider it the whole series. Red Queen by Victoria, Victoria Aveyard. Red Queen is specifically banned for themes of power, rebellion, and class inequality. That is most dystopian books that have ever been written in the history of ever. Another surprising, yeah, I shouldn't be surprised, Red, White, and Royal Blue by Casey McQuinston. I adore this book. It, this book is banned for LGBTQ romance between firstborn son of the US and British prince, banned for LGBT content and explicit themes. Welcome to America. One of a series, but we may as well call the whole thing Shatter Me. Pretty much the entire Shatter Me series. Shatter Me has a lot. Um, it is banned for romantic elements mixed with dictopian themes featuring explicit content, challenge for mature themes and violence, violence and dark themes. Again, that's most dystopian books ever. I'm not even halfway through the books that I have picked out, and I have a stack that is going to be taller than me by the end of this video. And I'm ordering more, so we're in for a ride. Get a snack if you haven't already. <laughs> Two other books that I have that are vintage from my mother. We have both The Adventures of Tom Sawyer and The Adventures of Huckleberry Finn. Thin? Huckleberry Finn by Mark Twain. The Adventures of Huckleberry Finn specifically is banned for language and racial themes. Tom Sawyer is banned for language and racial content. Shocker. Another fairly recent read, the mo one of the more obvious ones that I had this on a banned list, um, is The Bell Jar by Sylvia Plath. This book, specifically, was banned for addressing mental health and gender issues, banned for its critiques on social expectations. Cool. I hope you guys realize that, like, I'm giving such sore explanations because I have no words. I don't know. I'm not gonna sit here and be like, this seems like a valid reason that it was banned. I don't think there's a valid reason to ban most any book. Another, you may as well consider the whole series, pretty much the entire Mortal Instruments series. But specifically, I found The City of Bones. City of Bones was banned for magic, dark themes, and rebellion. Are we seeing a theme? I hope so. Another more obvious one, and one that is extremely relevant to our current political climate, The Handmaid's Tale by Margaret Atwood. The Handmaid's Tale is specifically banned for critiques of religious extremism and patriarchy, challenged for political and sexual themes. This is very important and should be something that most people start reading. Another of a lot of people's favorite cute little romance books, The Hating Game by Sally Thorne. The Hating Game is specifically banned for sexual content and romantic tension in the workplace, challenged for mature themes. I didn't feel like going and grabbing all of them, so I just grabbed the first one I saw, but pretty much the entire Grishaverse by Lee Bardugo. Six of Crows, the Grisha Burke ones, Shadow and Bone, pretty much all of Lee Bardugo. I'm just gonna read one because they're all pretty much the same thing. So just in general, the Grishaverse by Lee Bardugo, themes of magic, power, and rebellion. Shocker. We have then what has turned into some of my favorite movies, The Hobbit by J.R. Tolkien, and for magical creatures, battles, and violent content. Whoa. So scary. We have a book that pretty much created the book community, The Hunger Games by Suzanne Collins. The Hunger Games is banned specifically the entire series for depiction of oppressive government and rebellion, banned for its political subtext and violence. This is the blueprint of every dystopian book ever. This book was fundamental to the development of most of us. 
One that did not make sense to me, like most of these don't, The Kiss Quotient by Hella Huang. The Kiss Quotient is banned for romance between a woman with autism and escort, explicit sexual content, and themes of relationships. We then have a book that wasn't necessarily my favorite, but I know is extremely popular in the book community, The Night Circus by Erin Morgenstern. The Night Circus was banned for magic, dark themes, and romantic relationships. Can we get any more bag? We have one that I saw was on this list and my action was kind of like, hell yeah. The Priory of the Orange Tree. I have not touched this book in years. Um, I read this book probably close to two years ago now. This book is massive. And the things it's claiming kind of make sense considering the weird things they're claiming now. But The Priory of the Orange Tree by Samantha Shannon is, is banned for LGBTQ plus themes, dragons and magic. Can't be talking about dragons too much, people. Fourth Wing, better watch out. We have another very important book to a lot of people in the book community, The Song of Achilles by Madeline Miller. Song of Achilles was banned for LGBTQ plus themes, romantic relationships, and Greek mythology. That is what the book is based on. That's just the book. I don't know. I don't know. We have one of my favorite classics. I remember reading this in school and went and rebought it about a year or so ago. The Outsiders by S.E. Hinton. I adore this book. This book was banned for violence, language, and gang themes. And then last but not least, the last, they just called out one book, but it's pretty much the whole series, is the Twilight series by Stephanie Meyer. Twilight, the entire series pretty much, has been banned for themes of violence and supernatural elements. These are the 25 banned books that I currently own. Just kind of briefly skimming over this list. And I've read more than that. I just didn't have the physical copies of the books. Let me, let me get my stack in here. I've read more than that. I just didn't have copies of the physical books. I will again leave the link of the Google Doc that I'm using. I found an alphabetized Google Doc of banned books. And this was me just skimming it. I placed an order of about 17 more that I haven't read yet. Um, everything in this pile I have read. So I just ordered a bunch more because banning books is crazy. And usually books that are banned are banned for a reason because the government doesn't like them for some way. They have LGBTQ themes. They make you think outside of the social box. Reading is fundamental and it's important to challenge yourself and read things that makes you ask questions. People should be questioning the world more. Um, and I firmly believe that reading is political. I placed an order today. And I will see you guys in a few days when those come in, and I will give you guys a big banned book haul, give you the reasons of why the ones that I just bought were banned, and we can take a look at that together. I will see you guys in a few days. Hello, it's a few days later. I'm feeling a little bit better. I still might sound a little stuffed up, but we have giant, fairly heavy box of books. This is, I think, 17 books. I think most of these I have not read. There might be a couple that I have, but I got a bunch more banned books. So I'm gonna show you what I got and to you why they're banned. So the first one that I grabbed, one that I've actually been meaning to read for a while, like since it came out, I got My Sister's Keeper by Jodi Picoult. I remember this being a big thing when I was in like middle school, but this is a banned book now. So My Sister's Keeper was banned for medical ethics and language. I didn't watch the movie about this either, so, but I know like the premise of it. So I'm actually like really excited to read this one. This might be one of the first ones I read. So I got most of these from Book Outlet. Book Outlet, if you are interested in stocking up on banned books, Book Outlet is an overstock store. So most of these books were like $6 or less. This one was like 10, but it was because they do sell like the fancy like collector's editions of books. And I do have some of like the Jane Austen ones and stuff. So they had this in like a collector's edition. So I was like, if I'm gonna buy it, I'm gonna buy the pretty version. This is Anna Karina by Leo Tolstoy. I believe that's how you say it. Anna Karina was challenged for its betrayal of a fallen woman and traditionally gendered themes. This one I think would be an interesting read. Also, such small text, but I'm actually really interested to I don't really know much about this book. I don't know much about a lot of these. I'm just buying them because you should. And reading this political and you should buy books that are gonna be banned because banning books um, is probably never a good idea. But I'm actually like really interested in this one. And regardless, it's pretty. We then have this little one. This is A Doll's House by Henrik Ibsen. This book was banned for 
It says, although progressive for its time, some criticize it today for reinforcing gender stereotypes. This will be interesting. And it's probably one of the shorter books. This is another one that I'm actually like really interested to read. This is Native Son by Richard White. This was banned for examining systemic racism and social issues, banned for racial and political themes. I'm actually really interested in reading this one. I feel like I'm going to say that about all of those. Oh, this is one that I think we've all read. I've just never had a copy of it, surprisingly. Uh, the Great Gatsby, and I got a little pretty version of it. The Great Gatsby, there's so many books on this list that just start with the, and it takes forever to scroll through them all. So The Great Gatsby by F. Scott Fitzgerald was banned for language and adult themes, which I feel like is the most vague reason to ban a book. I have not read this book in forever. I don't think I've read it since like high school English, but yeah, I'm surprised I don't have a copy of it. This is one that I have had on like, like general TBR for a while and I just never bought it. So this was an excuse to bumble it up. This is Go Ask Alice by Anonymous. Ignore the sticker that didn't come off all the way. Go Ask Alice was banned for drug use, language, and graphic scenes. This one I definitely think is like a look up trigger warning book, been one that I've been interested in reading for a while. So this is another one that's a little bit higher up on my read sooner list. Then have All Quiet on the Western Front. This is like a war book, uh, banned for offering, oh, hello. <laughs> it was banned for offering a German soldier's view of World War I, showing war horrors, and banned by Nazi Germany as anti-patriotic. Which is very interesting because I am German, so I like seeing that perspective of things. So, another one that I have been wanting to read for a while and just hadn't bought it yet, so this was an excuse to bump it up higher on my list, is A Wrinkle in Time by Madeline I believe it's French, so I don't know if I'll be able to pronounce it. L'Engle? L'Engle? But this was made into like a movie and stuff. A lot of people that I know that have read this book really liked it. But A Wrinkle in Time was banned for accusations of occult themes. Kind of just a vague one. But I think this would be a fairly quick read too, because it's got fairly big print. Um, another classic that a lot of people I feel like read in high school, but I didn't, is A Farewell to Arms by Ernest Hemingway. Farewell to Arms was banned for war and sexual content. Banning something for just in general war seems kind of wild. I then got Men Are From Mars, Women Are From Venus, The Classic Guide to Understanding the Opposite Sex by John Gray. This book was criticized for reinforcing stereotypical gender roles and banned in some libraries as non-inclusive. So this might be a book that like I read and it's a book about hating women and I might think, wow, this book sucks. But like, that doesn't mean it should be banned. I think it's important to like, read books that you don't agree with and have discussions about them. So I don't think this is a book that I'm going to particularly enjoy, but I still think it's important to read. But turn this way so you can see the spines be prettier. This is a fairly recent one that a lot of people have read that again has been on my TBR and I just haven't gotten to it yet. So this puts it up again a little bit higher. Um, I Am Not Your Perfect Mexican Daughter by Erica L. Sanchez. I feel like a lot of people have read this, but Already, this book was banned for mental health and sexual content. So, interested to see how that goes. Another one that I'm like really interested in, I don't know a lot about it, but I'm interested, it seems interesting, is A Fine Balance by Ronston Mystery. This book was banned for political corruption, class disparity, and human suffering. Doesn't sound enjoyable, but that doesn't mean you shouldn't read it. This is another one that like doesn't make sense to me of why it's on a banned book list. Um, Gulliver's Travels by Jonathan Swift. I feel like I've read this book in school before, but Gulliver's Travels was criticized for gender portrayals and considered reflective and misogynistic views. I know I've read this before, I don't remember much of it, so I'll be interested to see what I think about going back and reading it again, knowing that it has like the misogynistic part to it. I'm interested to see what I think about reading this like as an adult. A classic book that destroyed the hearts of every child, Bridge to Terabithia by Katherine Patterson. This book and the movie, um, I think killed us all inside if we had to read it as children. So Bridge to Terabithia was banned for death and religious content. 
Not even for like, this was banned for scarring the youth, death and religious content. Oh, there's pictures in this book? There's illustrations in this book, that's cute. So yeah, I have not read this since I was a child. So I'm interested to see if it still makes me cry hysterically. I also have not watched the movie since then. And then last but not least, the last book that I got was Alabama Moon by Watt Key who says a 10 year old can't survive on his own. This one is also one that I don't know a lot about, but it seems like really interesting. So Alabama Moon was banned for violence and anti-government themes. This is my new banned books list to add. I also kind of made a little like, I started this little like shelf. Hi. I started this little shelf, so I'll probably add the rest to them, and I'll just kind of make this whole thing take all this junk off that I have on there and make this like a banned book section. But yeah, thank you guys for joining me. I've been gone for a while, um, working on getting back on a more regular basis, but I thought this was a video that needed to be made now while things are happening in the moment. Books are political. They always have been, they always will be, and I think it's really important to favor things. I don't think any government system that's trying to ban reading and art has ever been a good government system. I really hope that any of you guys that feel weird about politics and books um, really look into things and do some research. So yeah, I highly encourage all of you guys to start reading banned books if you haven't already. And even if you don't plan on reading them right now, it's still good to buy them so you know you have them and they're safe with you. All of my stuff is linked down below. This feels like a weird video to add all that to, so I'm probably just gonna go. But I hope to see you guys pretty soon. I love you. Genuinely, anybody that's scared about the current state of the world, like I am, I will always be a safe space. I'm still processing things. It's been about a week since uh, election results. I've had some time to process my initial feelings. Um, and things have just gotten crazier. Um, and they probably will for a while, and that's gonna suck, but I think what's really important now is community. So, um, take your time and grieve. I think the idea of chosen family is really important right now, so surround yourself with people that love and support you. And I am one of those people. I'm gonna try my best to be back on a regular posting schedule. Things have been crazy, and I'll probably get into that in another video, but I love you guys, genuinely, and I will always be a safe, supportive place for all of you. Again, I will link the banned books list that I'm using. It's just a big Google Doc sheet. I will uh, link that down below you guys if you want to look into it in case you guys are interested in seeing what books you have that are already banned or getting more. But yeah, I love you guys so much. Please be safe and I love you and I care about you so, so much and you're all worthy of care and love. I'll see you guys later.